Hey guys, it's me again, Sierra. Now, today, I got my new sewing machine. Right here. Now, this sewing machine is an LSS 202 combo pack. Now, it says combo pack because it comes with two extra items. So, this is going to be cool because that means that the next video is going to be a sewing video and it's going to be cool. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like. So, this is what the sewing machine looks like right here. And it also comes with an electric scissors and um, a kit with thread, scissors, um, seam cutter, needles, thumb bowl, and ruler. And we're going to be unpackaging this today. Now, are you guys excited? Because I am. Let's start. So, that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. So, first we have our kit. So, in this kit we have our thread. Now this is a spool. This is the um I forgot what it's called, but it's a smaller piece. This is what you use in the machine. This is what you use to refill these. And here's the needles right there. Here's the dumble. Here's the threader. Here's the seam cutter. Here's the scissors. And here's the ruler. Now that's what the kit comes with. Here is electric scissors. So, first you turn it on, and then, so first, before operation, you push power on right here, and you also start cutting, it's going to look like that. Now, I heard that these cut really fast, so that should be good. Now. Here we have the foot pedal. That's how long the wire is for the foot pedal. Pretty long. We have the AC adapter. As you can see, this wire's longer. And we have or sewing machine, right there. So I'm going to set this down, move this box out the way. Now you can use this box. Okay, so now we should start unpackaging this. So, right here is where the spool goes in at the bottom, right here. And this is a drop in, it says on the box. Okay, Here's the foot pedal lever. See, now the foot pedal is up, and then when I put it down, that's how it looks. This is where you put the spool, and then right here, this little button right there is where you put um, these, and you take the end of the spool and attach it to um, the, these type of spools, and it will refill it. Now, let's test this, shall we? Let's test 
test this to see. Here. Have a piece of thread in here, a piece of cloth. And I'm just gonna sew this close. Just Plug it in, see if this works. So there's two holes right here, as you can see. One goes, so the foot pedal goes up here, and the AC adapter goes down here. plugged in. Okay. Now, let's start. So first, you should always go ahead and start the switch with the hand turner. Then pick up the foot pedal and you should always lock the stitch to make sure it's locked. Because then it could come out easily if it isn't locked. And then you should go ahead and start sewing. Straight across. should look thick so you know there we go then when you're done pick up the foot pedal and pull it make sure you have some thread just pull this right from underneath so now you should get a length at least so a little bit longer some and then go ahead and cut it with your scissors. Okay, that was an accident. Okay. And then make sure your thread pieces are good and stuff. So all you have to do is trim these little string, extra strings. So I want to go ahead and do that. I'm going to show you the finishing. Okay. Go ahead and trim that and trim the other side.
Okay. Now again, I've sewn better, but this just turned out since it's the first try. I probably had to re-thread the bottom spool, but that's how that turned out. Now, I'm also going to show you how to re-thread the bottom spool. So go ahead, take off the pre protection cover, go ahead and pick it up. Okay, so when you always, when you enter it, it should always, well, depending on the machine, with this machine, which is LSS202, you should have a backwards P and then enter it in, and then you take the extra string and put it in the slit right there, put in that slit. Then take the top stitch and put it in, in that little little um slit. And then put the protection cover, but make sure the string doesn't get in caught into the um, protection cover. So go ahead and put that in. Now make sure it's all push you're pushing it down. Push it in and won't go. And then what you want to do is go ahead and do it once like that. And then take your thin scissors, make sure it's like that, and then make sure you um stop doing it when you see a loop. So you have to keep doing it until you see a loop. So make sure that it's threaded right and everything like that. So it's probably not working because it's not in slit. There we go. Okay. There you go. And then once it's looped on, take thin scissors. So I'm going to take the thin scissors out of here, as you can see. And then after I took them out the scissors, I'm going to go ahead and Take the bottom string, so, so it can come up. For some reason, hold on. There it is. So go ahead and take this string and pull it up. And you should see aha uh -huh. so there should be a loop and you want to pull that loop all the way up it might be a little bit difficult but it will take some time so let's just take that like that and now the bottom string should be coming out of this hole right here just like that. Now, let's try sewing it. It should be better. Right. Here you go. Okay. Now, put it in like that. And then put your foot pedal down. And then go ahead and do the starting stitch. So make sure the top thread is underneath the foot pedal and the bottom thread that is in the bottom hole goes like that. Go ahead and put it in. And 
do it like two, two to three times. And then pick up the foot pedal. And then back stitch. Now some sewing machines has a button like right in this area and it will automatically back stitch for you. down and go ahead and start sewing. One, that's the thing. Okay, and then make sure sometimes this happens where the string gets all over the place and sometimes you have to fix it like that. So, and then, what you want to do is pick it up, so pick the foot pedal up, and then turn it around completely, make sure the foot pedal is all the way up, okay, put the foot pedal back down, and keep going. Sometimes this is all Make sure it's in the tension. The, the tension also works for if you're sewing through felt to canvas. And the sewing machine can go through felt to can canvas. And you have a high tension when it's through um, like canvas and you have a low tension if it's for like felt, I believe. Always doing this. Lock the stitch. Now, when you go backwards, the, the um the ridges that will make the cloth move back and forth. It will make make it move back when you turn it back. So that's cool, because not most sewing machines do do that. Then you can go ahead. So I'm not sure. Let's go. Um, I'm gonna have to try. Come on. I'm not sure what's on with it. I have to check the bottom. Aha! Now I see. So this has got clogged. So now I have to figure out how to get this unclogged. Well, bye guys and see you again soon. Bye! And now it's time for the bubble break. Bubbles, bubble, bubbles. And done. Now it's time for the snow break. Snow flake, snow flake, snow flake. In the comments below, tell me what you want me to sew in the next video. Bye-bye. See you again soon.